but uh, if you pay attention too much, uh, I actually started rapping in English. Mm -hmm. My first raps were in English. So only people that have known me for the past seven years, eight years, mm -hmm. would say, oh, I remember me mm -hmm. uh, But people that even knew me way back would tell you to say, I started off in English, then went to Nyanja, mm -hmm. then I'm now more prominent in, 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 in Bemba raps. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> so, <laughs> In a way, it shouldn't be surprising to anyone. Yeah, I, I know because uh, I remember uh, there's a bar that you said, uh, uh, I don't want to mention the artist's name, but you actually mentioned about a mob. That, was, that verse was actually in, in Nyanja. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, that verse was actually in, <laughs> <laughs> that verse was in Nyanja. Uh, they also had some verse uh, so, in English. Uh, but so, so now the, the, Twitter mm. has decided to say, oh, Sheffy uh, does English as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very embarrassed to to talk about uh, uh, this all together because uh, yeah, yeah, it shows how much people put me in a box, and it shows uh, like how much people really haven't been paying attention. It takes a lot of a certain level of intelligence to mm -hmm. to to do what we do. So, but uh, why one side? Mm -hmm. People should always know to say, oh, uh, it's just the decision to, to go that route. And uh, if we decide to, to come back, we can always come back. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. Otherwise, to me, the, there's nothing special about me rapping in English mm -hmm. or any other language. Uh, because you said that it's song that shitabunga. It's song that shitabunga. Well... That mean that statement is a very heavy statement because it means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, it would take the whole day trying to unpack that particular statement. Uh, but yeah, in in a lot of ways, it's wrong with the chista wong. But food chashto wong ang gori for chista wong. Interesting. In case you're just joining us, this is our Metro Nine Four Point Five. We're having a conversation with Chef One Eighty Seven. Now, I'm I'm so curious about your bucket list. Because I'm not going to leave this issue uh, behind because, you know, I do have a bucket list. One of them is, uh, you know, I want to go to the Victoria Falls and try skydiving. But, yeah, I, I want to try out that. Because, but I'm still scared because I'm scared of heights. Share with me your bucket list. Just even three, man. Uh, there's a lot of things on my bucket list such that if we were to get into that, Chipago Kola Turelanda Pofe. But uh, the most important thing on my bucket list is to be a, a better, better person in general, mm -hmm. a better communicator. Like, I, I want to be better at communication. I, I think my, my manager over here <laughs> will attest to the fact that I'm very bad at communicating. Mostly when I speak, I get misunderstood. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trying to be better at, at like, communicating with people. And that is one item of my, my, my bucket list. Interesting, interesting. I think uh, somebody said uh, you should be a great communicator because the moment you open your mouth, you should tell the world who you are. So if uh, people <coughs> are getting confused when somebody says an item, then oh. that has to be worked on. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Interesting. Let's talk about uh, music in general. There's mm. something that is uh, very frustrating that I, I wanted to talk about, especially for the fact that uh, it was trending at some point. And you also had uh, something to say about it, which is uh, Zambia music not being celebrated too much, both radio, clubs, and anywhere. Now, I also want to connect that with what you actually said uh, on your record. You know, you said, we're going to give the playlist an F if you're not there. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that. Okay. Uh, I don't know uh, what exactly I should I should say about that, but um, <clears throat> it's not that Zambian music doesn't get celebrated. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Chef 187 was at one point a very unknown artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the fact that um, I can I can uh, safely say I'm a household name shows you to say, oh, the, there's people out there that celebrate your music and celebrate what you do. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's certain pockets in society that don't, that deliberately uh, don't play Zambian music or support it as much. 
you go to a club, you are there for three hours, and you can't hear any single Zambian song. Uh, yeah, there's instances like that. We've heard of incidences where DJs, local DJs are told uh, when you play a Zambian uh, song in this particular club, they will get 200 kwacha off your salary. So yes. one, one so, so playing two songs is like a 400 kwacha off your salary. That's <laughs> so like which, two pounds of Yeah, video. so which, which, which doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, there's things like that that we, we have to fight. So when you really look at it, it's not like the general masses out there don't support Zambian music, but it's, it's uh, a few pockets in society that, that are really uh, like frustrating everyone else's efforts. Mm. Uh, but but at, at the end of the day, it's up to the Zambian people. Uh, our parents were known for listening uh, to, to some rumba, mm like too much of rumba music mm -hmm. so it's up to this generation if it if it wants to be remembered for listening to too much on a piano mm -hmm. uh, the decision is up to us interesting <clears throat> uh let's talk about uh business in general i'm actually glad that uh, you're here with your your manager because i've noticed that uh, there are certain people in zambia that are running uh, you know their music journey like a talk shop and uh, you yeah. also decided to run your music <coughs> as uh, a businessman you as a Chef 187, you know, working for the brand itself, mm. uh, Chef 187, I think it comes with a lot of uh, work. Let's talk about the endorsements, mm. you know, corporate uh, society, you know, understanding that Zambian artists are also valuable. Somebody mentioned to say uh, the, the endorsements are there, mm. but the money that people want to give you in these departments is totally ridiculous. You have had a great uh, share in terms of our uh, endorsement. Let's talk about how you've managed, you know, to penetrate uh, that industry. Oh, managing to penetrate that industry um, has everything to do with just positioning yourself in mm -hmm. a way where, like, the corporate world looks at you like like mm -hmm. a business partner, <clears throat> and not just an artist or someone that that is able to. To sing a song or rap a few bars here and there mm -hmm. they look at you as a business partner that can help them sell their brand so it starts with the artist uh, the way the artist brands uh, themselves uh, has a lot to do with uh, with with how far they go in that uh, particular space um, on the like financial side of things mm -hmm. we are slowly getting there mm -hmm. um, like people have to believe in us a bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can do better than we are doing at the moment. But uh, I would be lying if I said the money isn't good entirely. Mm -hmm. uh, one step at a time, we are slowly getting there. We, we are, <laughs> uh, okay, let me just leave it at that. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Still okay, let's talk about uh, how difficult it is to find you. Because so many people are saying the most difficult person to find as a chef, you want I am to easy to find. I am easy, very easy to find. No, but here's the funny thing. There are a number of uh, premium events in Lusaka, right? And there are certain events whereby you're sure that you can, if I go this side, Narawa Sangama, guys. <laughs> but you find uh, Numero Uno is not there. Uh, uh, is it? <clears throat> how difficult is it? Uh, do, do you really feel uncomfortable when you are in a large place where there are so many people and you don't have any business there? Not really, but you also have to understand the fact that uh, I grew up on the Copper Belt mm -hmm. and I only started living in Lusaka most recently. So I don't entirely... I don't... <laughs> no, I don't entirely... <laughs> <laughs> no, you should you're telling me about Lusaka Tawakupanga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, serious. Lusaka Tawakupanga is not a good thing. Tawakupanga is a good thing. Tawakupanga is yeah, so I'm saying uh, I don't really subscribe to Am I to like Lusaka Lusaka lifestyle like that. Cha cha finira musa na so tu kara mulusaka bad footy. Hmm, tu kara mulusaka. So you, but you you most likely catch me at at at, at an event or something. Mm -hmm. uh, though. 
Kwala wako fiyama events yako wati, me, maybe me going there is a, is a bit of a stretch, mm. but we try to, to like uh, step out of our comfort zones and, and also be in a few places where you normally wouldn't find me. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Still Kim, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about mental health. So many people think an artist like Sheffy 187, everything is, you know, Sweet, uh, sweet, 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 you know, from uh, everything, your personal life, everything is mm -hmm. a very sweet. And people just think, ah, everything is proper. So on the other side, we actually get to talk about mental health. And we also look at how you also, you know, perceive mental health, especially in Zambia. This is Metro. It is exactly five minutes after 5 p.m. Central African time. And don't forget, we are live on Radio Box as well as our Radio Garden. You can also get a dial this number 77 as well as our 0761945. 000 Trending for today, it is your toes. If you are looking at your toes and you're also broke, it is high time that you go to Zimbabwe because that's <laughs> an asset that you're having there because so many people are looking at their toes, especially in Zimbabwe right now.